I sat up late last night trying to clean everything um, and just make sure that everything was sanitized, even though my drawers were already clean. So that's what you want to start with, everything being clean. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new and returning, I appreciate you for joining me today on this new adventure. So we are doing canning pears. And so I have my pears right here. I'm about to peel these um, and I'm gonna place them. I have a food grade container bucket down next to me with a half of, a half bucket of water that is. And in that bucket, I have one cup of lemon juice the lemon juice is so once I peel it, I can just drop it into that um, bucket and it'll keep my, um, I'm about to say my lemons, it'll keep my pears from turning brown. And so over here, I have my syrup I already started. Um, I'm doing a light syrup right here. And I'm going by the ball book. Make sure you have a ball book when you're canning. Um, I also watch Homestead Heart do her, so this is kind of where I'm getting mine from, but I have my book to fall back on. So for the um, simple syrup that I'm doing, and they have different ones depending on what you want, extra light, light, medium, or heavy. And so I'm doing an extra light, which is 20% of sugar. It's one and one half cups of sugar. I already put it in here, already brought it up to a boil, and then I have it now just down on a low simmer and so i'll be adding my pears to that once i get to that stage over here i have my pint jars in my water bath canner and i'm about to sit them down into the water so that they can be hot because you don't want hot items going into cold or vice versa or cold going into hot so um i have about anywhere between 10 to 12 pounds of pears not all here i have a whole nother bag on the side and i'm just going to show you a little bit of what i'm doing when it comes to the peeling part all i'm going to do is cut that tip off and then i'm gonna cut that end off and i'm going to get as close to um the pear that i can get and just get that skin off. I won't be throwing my skin away. I will be saving it to compost it. But once I get my rabbits, I can give them to my rabbits. Just gonna slice it down the center and see that right there I'm gonna take that out you might not be able to see it because of the lighting all of that will come out like this right here and I will be saving my seeds and drying them out seeds are hard to come by matter of fact I'm gonna put them in a container right now and then if you have that little tip right here where you see the little black I'm just gonna cut that piece off like that
Once you cut that out, you're just going to slice it down. Once you peel it, go ahead and put it in your water so it doesn't turn uh, brown. And I'm going to just do the rest of these and I'll probably speed through it. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the pears in half, just like this. And then I'm taking my knife and I'm just getting out the hard part. You don't really want that in there. got a stem right here you just cut, cut that out so now I'm gonna cook these pears here I still have some down in my bucket with the lemon juice and I'm gonna cook these right here down in the simple syrup and we're gonna let that cook for a little while just so they can get hot all the way through before we um, add them to our jars. You don't wanna to put too many in your uh, syrup mixture at one time because you wanna make sure they're all getting coated. So we're gonna put a timer on that for five minutes while I'm cutting the rest of these, and then I can do that. I can take these out. So it's been five minutes, and now I'm about to take the jars out of the water bath canner. I'm using tongs, but you can use your jar lifter to do it. This is just easier for me. So now I'm just setting up my jars by putting a funnel on. I'm about to take the pears out of the simple syrup. First you scoop your pears into the jars and then you ladle in the simple syrup. Y'all, I don't recommend grabbing a hot jar and tapping it. Use your mittens. So the tapping is just one way to try to get some of the air pockets out and fit more pears in. So I'm using a debubbler before I put the syrup in just to press down some of the pears and make room and see if I can fit any more pears in there. And then I'm going to add the simple syrup and I will debubble to get any air pockets out.
So make sure your simple syrup is at the one inch head space. Again, I don't recommend picking up a hot canning jar. So now I'm about to clean my um, rim of the jar with this white vinegar, distilled vinegar. This container that I have is a container I found at the Dollar Tree and it's in the makeup section. And all you have to do is put your distilled vinegar in it and just dab it to wet your paper towel or your cloth. The reason I'm doing this is to make sure I get a perfect seal when I put the lids on the jars. You don't want anything to come in between the jar and the lid. Now, because I debubbled again, I noticed that I was lacking some of the simple syrup. So therefore I had to add a little bit more and then I'll have to clean the rim again. If you notice you put a little too much simple syrup into your jars, just get a little scoop and scoop it back out. So now I'm getting the lids out of the pot. I have them in here heating up. You wanna have that all the time. So I don't have a magnetic wand, so I'm using a fork. It's okay, y'all. You can still do it with the fork. They didn't have that wand back in the day when your ancestors was doing it. So now I'm putting the rings onto the jars and you want to make sure it's fingertip tight. Do not tighten it extra tight, y'all. You don't want it like that when you put it into your water bath canner. So now I'm just going to use my jar lifter and put these into the water bath canner. Um, my water bath canner will not be turned up until I have all the jars into the canner. Now I'm just going to repeat the process until the first batch of pears are in the water bath canner.
I just put a batch of pears into the simple syrup. This is my last batch that I'm chopping up now while I'm waiting five minutes for those to heat throughout. Just want to show you a quick sneak peek at how I have the pears into the food grade bucket with one cup of lemon juice. So here's my last batch of pears before I put them in the water bath canner. And then I will turn my water bath canner up to high setting. Once it starts a rolling ball, then I will start the timer for 20 minutes. Okay, I finally have the first batch done and in the water bath canner, I'm gonna put the lid on, turn the um, eye up to high. And once it starts a rolling boil, then I'll set my timer for 20 minutes. So I'm back, it's been 20 minutes and it's time to take the first batch out. I have three that I have to go in once I get done taking these out. Y'all, they look so good. I'm so happy and proud for myself. And I hate that I waited so long to learn how to can, y'all. You see me tilting it back over the pot because I was just trying to get some excess water off the lid. Over here you might hear popping from them you might not because I'm probably gonna um, pause this camera for a minute but these will sit out on your counter for 12 hours or 24 hours come back and test them and what I mean by test them you're just gonna touch the top if it goes up and down then you know you didn't get a good seal on that and so that would be one you put in the refrigerator for immediate use not into your emergency prepper room y'all i'm so happy about this i really am i look a hot mess i apologize y'all it's hot in this kitchen so right here we have nine and then i have three more in there so hopefully that 12 um, will last us for a little bit, I hope, um, but maybe not. And this, I did do, I'm moving back, y'all, it's good and hot. Don't think it's not hot because I'm touching it, but I need to move them back some. Ooh, child. What was I thinking? Trying to not have fingerprints anymore the way I'm acting. I'm so excited about this, y'all. And this little thing right here, I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. 
And I just put my um, white distilled vinegar in it. You get this out of the beauty area. It's like this. And you just press it down with the tissue and, I mean, with the cloth or your paper towel and wipe the rim of your jars with it. Look at that. I can't some pears. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. I just want to can up everything now. I can't wait till I get my pressure can of y'all. Y'all look at me right here. I was a little skinnier then. So I keep that there for motivation. So um, that was like the year that my husband proposed to me. So our anniversary is in March. I'm so excited. Anyway, y'all. It will be 19 years. Oh, that one popped. So that means that it's sealed. So we know we got one good seal so far. I see all of them are probably going to pop. Okay, the five minute rest time is up and we're gonna take these out. These were the last three. And we'll put them over here. And I honestly feel like right now, pears are the easiest for me. It wasn't that difficult at all. And there you have it. And they have been popping and pinging the whole time that the camera was off. So these will, these are packed, y'all. They starting to settle because they're cooling. But y'all, these will sit here. They'll sit here until tomorrow um, around the same time, 7.43. So 7.43 on Tuesday. Today is January 18th. Happy Martin Luther King Day. And these will sit here until the 19th. And then I will label them and put the name and the date on it. And they will go into my prepper pantry. I'm so excited, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't extremely long, but if I hope it benefits you and I really want you to try this yourself because if I can do it, y'all can do it for sure. Um, so y'all take care and please like this video. Um, it means a lot to us, to me, that you like the video. So y'all appreciate y'all for being here. And again, remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, go out and spread God's love with distance because of Rona, of course. And y'all, no, I didn't grow these pears. I would love to grow some pears, but you don't have to can the things that you grow. You can can stuff out of the grocery store, whatever works. Um... Yeah, y'all, so I'm just excited. I don't know, I'm tongue-tied. So, y'all, I love y'all so much. Bye. So, y'all, it's been um, over 12 hours now since I've completed the pears being canned. And all of them, I've done a test. All of them have sealed. So, I didn't have any faulty ones, and that is so good to know. And now I will be labeling and dating and placing them into my prepper pantry. You want to keep them in a cool, dark place. You don't want to be exposing them to a lot of light. So that is the next step. And y'all have a blessed day. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being here on this channel. To all my new subscribers and all my returning subscribers. You just don't know how much I do appreciate it. Um, I pray about um, people accepting what I put out and
for those who don't they just don't but i do what i'm learning so that you guys can learn it if you don't know it and you can share it out so thank y'all again i appreciate you love y'all bye